Hey guys, it's Abby, and welcome to Evergreen Stables. Today, I am going to show you how to make the trailer for the golf cart and trailer thing that I made. And you've seen a bunch of my videos. So if you're now wondering, why is there like a weird quiet pause for about five seconds in the video at the very beginning? Is because um, when I watch my own videos, just to make sure they're all ready and everything, I noticed that part of my words are cut off because they start right when the camera starts rolling. So I thought I would wait five seconds until um, we start. I start talking. So if you hear like um, talking, which you may hear right now, or like like yelling or singing or like kind of like a hammering noise, that is my sister outside playing quite violently. But don't be worried. It's just her singing and like yelling because she's doing like a play or something like that and she's using a stick for a prop. So if you didn't know I really like Legos and I like to create things and one day I was just super bored and I was like oh I can take some of my vi um, my um, Legos and like you know do stuff. So I took a bunch of like old play sets apart like so like like the pop star things, like the regular, the really old time Legos, a bunch of that stuff. So I'm going to show you how to make a golf cart. So you're going to need a lot of pieces. So I'll show you some of the pieces for the bottom piece. So you're going to need a 4x8. I'm sorry if you can't see it. You see it better? A 4x8. And you're going to need two 4x4s. And if you're wondering what I'm talking about, is when I say 4x4 or 4x8, there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. So that's what I mean. And if you're wondering, do I have a tripod? No, this is basically, my camera is literally stacked on top of like jewelry after jewelry, little like case things. So first we need to attach this. So we are going to take two, um, two, um, 6x2s. Oops and we are going to attach them together. And so this part, it really doesn't matter what color your block, your bricks are. So this is like a purple and a green, and this is like green, brown, and tan. So I flip the green, brown, and tan parts over like this. So you can see the underside. Hope you guys can see that. And then, I'm going to attach them in the middle with a six, two by six, to make sure they're perfectly even. So in the end, you're going to get something like this. I have a feeling the lighting kind of bad, but sorry about that. Maybe if I stuck it. Yeah, that's a little better. I'm not. Sorry, I'm not sure. Sorry about the bad lighting, guys. Anyways. So, now, um, with this piece, we're not going to pop on the wheels yet. We are first going to put on the, the things. So whatever, um, so I want to have it like this, this, I don't know. It's basically a square, so it doesn't matter. I'm going to leave one strip open, and in the middle, I'm going to take a 1x6, and that's going to be six of them, and I'm going to put them over on top of each other. And so there's going to be, there should be a remaining 1x8 um, box all around it, and you'll see why that is in a second. So now we're going to take two one by ones and stick them two apart. So two, there's two whole dots right here, two dots and two dots. So after these two dots in the middle, you get this. And now if you hear walking or really loud stomping from my sisters, now I can do that. Okay. So, now, well, let me see if I can fix this lighting real quick. Okay, that might be better. So 
over here. This is the thing. Now we're going to go ahead and make the sides. So I'm going to take a bunch of random white pieces. But then again, this doesn't need to be white if that's your preference. I just wanted it to be white just because I like a clean color. And white's like the main block that I had. And I'm just like, eh, let's just do it. And then one more of these blocks. And you're gonna have one strip right here that's kind of bare. That's okay because we're gonna use that for later. And now that I see I've taken I've done this wrong. So this is literally like trial and error. You gotta try and try again until you get this the way you want it. And there, now there's the strip right here. And do that to the same size. I'm not even using the same things. I'm just using a bunch of random pieces that I have. So I can't tell you the exact measurements for some of these random pieces. Some of them are just going to have to be creative. But like I said, if you want to do a pink thing, do pink. If you want purple, do purple. Green, do whatever you color you please. But I just like white because it's clean, crisp, and I can like stick things, like stickers or something on these. Alright, and that's what it's supposed to look like. Now we're going to make the back, because you don't want anything falling out. So I'm going to take two of these gate pieces and just stick them here. And I just didn't want, I just want some difference between like bricks and then like some different things. So now we're going to add a bit of pink. So we're going to take the a connector piece, but it's going it's to be some black, and it has the rounded edge, not the clip part, the rounded edge, and you're going to stick that in the last two spots, right there. Then you're going to stick another 1x2 beige piece. And like I said, if these, these, this doesn't have to be like nice and smooth. If you want it to be all rumply and bumply, that's your decision. So now we're going to make another part. We're going to have this, the other side of, to the connector piece. It's this part. And we're going to stick a pink 2 by 4 and it's flat and just stick it to here. Now we're almost done. Oh, and this is now the hinge you can go down. If this is like kind of moving around, I'm sorry because this is just a bunch of stuff and there's something in front of the camera so I can only see like a centimeter of what is actually going on. So sorry about the bad filming and lighting today guys. Now we're going to pop, make the wheels. So I just have some wheel pieces from like a, the pops, a pop star set. Like I said, I took a bunch of things apart. So I have two of these. But I'm not going to stick them on yet, I just made them. And then I have like a license plate we got to make. So on either side I'm going to put a red dot. I'm going to put another one on the other side. And then I just found like some gray piece with a funky design on it. I don't know what it is. I think it's like a mixtape or something. So I'm going to go ahead and put this right there. And then we're going to stick it right here underneath the piece. And this is why we have two, two holes on each side. So two there, two right there. And then on the other side, we're going to take one of these like hitching pieces and then one of them we're going to put a gray piece, one circle right there. And on the other side of the two pieces, just stick it. And then I'm going to go ahead and put the wheels on. And there you go. And as you can see, see that's this little stuff. 
that I had my camera in front of. It falls. So I'll show you guys part two. How to make this. But I'm going to find a different way to get the lighting better. See? So I have this. What if I took out some stuff? What if I just did this? No pieces, would it work? Sorry about the again, again. Sorry about the bad lighting, guys. Oh well, I'll preview this and see if it works. Bye!